Mike Wallace, Keenan Lewis, uh, what an unbelievable beating the odds story. I mean, you guys grew up together, played high school ball, almost went to college at Oregon State together, played at Pittsburgh. How much fun was it tonight and how much trash talking out there? It wasn't that much fun. That's a guy who knew all my weak points. He's been playing with me since a kid, so I tried my best to try to straighten up my game and those things like that, what he do know, but it also was an honor. He's a great receiver in this league, one of the best Pro Bowl guys, so just to have an opportunity to go against him was right. kind of weird. I'm sure it was. Hold this up for a second. Tell me, uh, I guess this was planned. You have his jersey here, if we can. Uh, yeah, he's on, I gotta, you're you're going to bring this home. Uh, was this something you guys discussed before the game? Yeah, definitely. You know, when you're a childhood friend, that's that's memories. And I want to frame this. It's an honor. Just they had an opportunity to go against him. I'm pretty sure it's not the last time, but it's the first time. So just to cherish it. And he, you know, he's a Dolphin now. I know you grew up a Saints fan. I'm pretty confident he grew up a Saints fan too, didn't he? Yeah, definitely. You know, we, I remember when we was like the age of five and six running around the neighborhood with our Saints jerseys on, imitating to be those guys. So I had an honor, and I'm pretty sure, hopefully before his career over, he could join me. Who were you guys imitating at the time? Uh, anybody, our mom, you know, we had the, the quarterbacks. Anybody for Christmas time, whoever they showed up with, it was an honor to be. Just talk about, you said it was weird. Did you almost have to, you know, it's a cliche, but pinch yourself. I mean, you guys grew up here, and it's been talked about all week, but you said once you got out there, it did feel different, didn't it? Yeah, it definitely felt different. It's, that's a guy who I went to battle with my whole life. Now that I have the opportunity to battle him was kind of, you know, had me a little bit off, but I'm glad we got the W. Any good stories tonight? Anything that were said between plays that, were, that was funny that you'll remember from this game? Yeah, definitely he got some good plays, and I also had some good plays. You know, I just was praying to God that he didn't catch that deep ball because I was going to have to hit that <laughs> for the rest of my life. But he, he got me a couple of times, and I did a, a good job on him a couple of times. So we fared out even. Anything during the game that was said that you'll take that was a funny moment or, uh, or a look or, you know, we could talk about plays, but uh, just in terms of communication between you guys? I just say, like, almost every other play, we remind, remind each other how much – you know, we love each other. You know, that's my brother. So it was kind of weird keep telling a guy who I'm going against, you know, I love you back. You know, that's just, you know, it, it's, it felt weird when you go on the wall. But I'm glad that it's over. And I hope next time we could join and be on the same team again. All right. In the second half, uh, you left for a while uh, with, a, uh, I think, a calf strain. How are you feeling right now? Or you, you, what's your health condition now? I'll be pretty good next week. I'll let the, the trainers evaluate me. And I'll be ready to go, hopefully. All right. Uh, we talked about you and Mr. Wallace. But let's talk about the Saints defense. You guys are 4-0, and a big reason is you guys are forcing turnovers. I mean, Jabari had a pick tonight. You know, Will Herring had a pick. And you're forcing turnovers. You know, that's something you emphasized during training camp. Is this defense has surprised a lot of people, but has it surprised you guys how fast things have come together despite the injuries and all the new guys? It never surprised me. That's why one reason I decided to come here. You know, before I made the decision to come here, I checked those guys out and just to see what type of guys they were. That's guys who work extremely hard. So I was not surprised when I made my choice to come here. But, you know, a lot of people was talking about the things that was done last year. Last year, last year, guys bought in a new attitude and they buy in. You know, we got great coaching staff and it, and it shows every week. Finally, uh, this team's off to a 4 0 start. Uh, Saints fans are going crazy, but it seems like you guys are, are hardly content and, and you still feel like you have to improve. And, and there may be, you weren't here last year, but have you noticed this football team? Is there a chip on its shoulder at, you know, about what it went through last year and especially what this defense went through? Yeah, definitely. You could tell those guys playing with a chip on their shoulder. And it also helped me as well, even though I wasn't a part of it. but. That's still my family. That's my brother. So every time someone, one of them get talk about it, it get me kind of mm -hmm. angry too. So it helped me get fired up for those moments as well. So you can see it out there. We playing mm -hmm. extremely well. Guys are giving it 100% every play. So that's what matters. All right, good stuff tonight. Well, listen, you got a souvenir. You got a victory. Yeah. Uh, it was a, a reunion with an old friend. And I think a sense of relief because he didn't burn you deep. So uh, a total win for Keenan Lewis tonight. I appreciate your time. No problem. Thank you. I'm for uh, definitely wasn't the outcome we were looking for coming down, coming down to win. Every single time we step on the field, we expect to win. Uh, we definitely didn't do that today. Uh, we just didn't get it done. Special like, moment on the field after the game with Keenan. You guys exchanged jerseys. Talk to us about how special that was for you. Uh, it's special just because I've known him so long. I knew him my whole life. Uh, just to get to see my brother 
uh, you get to go against, compete against them. But at the end of the day, it's all love. So um, after the game is done, be back to being brothers. Uh, you get the bragging rights. It's, it's cool, though. The touchdown end zone here, it completely uh, eludes you still. And every game, you come, oh, Perry Walker, mm -hmm. you come back with the Steelers. You, you can't find the end zone here. Yeah. Even in the last later part of the game, it looked like you, Ryan wasn't even looking your way late in the game. Um, I mean, you know, a lot of different things go on the field. I wouldn't say that. Um, just, I guess it's just not good for me in here. Uh, I, I've lost every single time I've ever played in the Superdome. So, uh, what is the outcome we wanted? Get back. We still three and one. Uh, we have a long season ahead of us. Still have 12 more games. So.